of London says his city will not be cowed by terrorism. An attacker killed three people today and two people from the tri-state were not far away when this happened. Let's bring you up to speed on the latest developments tonight. The attacker is also dead. Police say he drove his car down Westminster Bridge hitting pedestrians before crashing into a railing just outside the Houses of Parliament. It was bodies, literally. It must have been about 10, 10, bo At 10 least bodies. 10, yeah, 12 all bodies, shot, all in different places. Just lying places. in different places along the bridge. Being shot, yeah. And a Cincinnati couple was near Westminster Bridge during that attack. Nine on your side, Jay Warren. Talk to them this afternoon. What'd you learn, Jay? Well, I tell you what, Andrew Gomez, he's the owner of Gomez Salsa here and over the Rhine, as well as in Walnut Hills. He and his wife were over there, and as he tells it, after they emerged from the tube, she looked up and said, well, the weather's pretty good. Let's go over to the London Eye instead of staying here near Parliament. And it was only a few minutes after they had gotten over there that the attack happened. These are pictures sent to us by Andrew Gomez from the Westminster Bridge, which spans the River Thames. In them, you can see traffic backed up, and in this shot, a crowd of people, perhaps a half hour after the attack. He explains what his wife suggested this morning. He was, goes, hey, it's not raining anymore. Let's, uh, let's go do the London Eye instead of Parliament right now. So we uh, started walking across the bridge. When they got to the London Eye, that's when they learned something had happened. We were about to be the next group on, on the London Eye, when the, uh, the staff was just they wouldn't give us any reason, but they just started saying, hey, everyone, you got their megaphones out. You got to turn around and go back and get out of the area. Here in Cincinnati, his father, Frank Gomez, had no clue. His son was so close to what had happened. I had no idea, and then I got uh, all the news. But I saw it on TV, and I said, I wondered. And I said, no, they can't be around there. Yeah. And yes, they were. Way more people that got yeah. in a uh, worse situation than we did. And I, you know, I'm praying for them, and we hope that... They can uh, all find resolve in this. Now, Gomez says that he and his wife in the next couple of days will be headed to Paris and says that they're not going to let fear control them, though terror attacks are in the back of their minds. Jay Warren, nine on your side, over the Rhine.